Pathogenicity and Virulence by Ellie Gaston. What is virulence? Virulence describes the degree or extent of disease that a pathogen causes. The extent of the virulence is usually correlated with the ability of the pathogen to multiply within the host and may be affected by other factors. It was once believed that virulence was only determined by how strong the pathogen is, but now we know that the host's physical condition plays a big part in determining how virulent a pathogen is. What is pathogenicity? Pathogenicity is defined as the ability of a pathogen to cause disease, and this ability represents a genetic component of the pathogen, and the overt damage done to the host is a property of the host-pathogen interaction. Disease is not an inevitable outcome of the host-pathogen interaction. And furthermore, pathogens can express a wide range of virulence. Pathogenicity and virulence differences. Pathogenicity is an all or nothing term, whereas virulence can evolve and change to be able to infect the host. Pathogenicity is determined by how virulent a pathogen is. Why virulence is evolving. Virulence changes because a pathogen will evolve so they can infect the host best and be passed on to another host most effectively. The way virulence evolves can be explained by the virulence factor. Virulence factors are the ways pathogens overcome our defenses. Some examples are the features that help microbes adhere to the host cell, invade host tissue, acquire nutrients, and invade immune defenses. Toxins, substances with diverse ways of thwarting the immune system or damaging our cells. Classic virulence factors include pathogens, toxicity, aggressiveness, and transmission. Ideal virulence. Not all pathogens are equal in how virulent it is. The perfect pathogen has the ability to break down defenses and live within a host and is balanced with its ability to transmit to others. A highly virulent pathogen, which is transmitted person to person and causes high mortality outbreaks that rapidly kill or debilitates hosts, usually remain geographically isolated and causes short-lived outbreaks. The pathogen may evolve into one which does not kill victims right away, thus increasing the time available for transmission, which is the perfect storm for a long-lived outbreak that is not geographically isolated. In conclusion, pathogenicity is a pathogen's ability to cause disease. Virulence is how much damage a pathogen causes. Pathogenicity is not evolving, but virulence is. How virulence evolves is characterized by the virulence factors, and pathogenicity and virulence go hand in hand and are used to explain how dangerous a pathogen is. Thank you so much for watching.